what is up you guys welcome to another rebuild workout today we are hitting legs and especially ass all right so for your workout you always want to make sure you're going to do a nice warm-up and get into your body is what i like to say to my clients so here i'm just doing a little bit of stretching i like to walk around get engaged with my breath and then i do some bopping into my knees feeling a nice stretch into my hamstrings and a nice stretch into my inner thighs so i'm just taking like i said a couple minutes to get inside my body get into my breath and really feel everything starting to warm up um, feeling my joints starting to kind of lubricate and then we're gonna get right into popping this thing first move after we've done a couple squats for our little warm-up a little bit of stretching you're gonna go ahead and get into a nice little Smith machine one-legged deadlift now unfortunately I had this a little bit too angled you can't see my foot is back just slightly and my toe is up I do have some different angles so hopefully you can see it um, a little bit better in some of the other videos but as you can see I switched legs and you're gonna really poke that booty out, but keep a nice tight core. Now the trick with using the Smith machine to do your deadlifts is that you really wanna make sure you're in a nice aligned spot so that the Smith machine glides up and down. You might have to shimmy around and shuffle depending on your height. Um, so I like to stand just a little bit further back, obviously, because I got long legs. Then in between my sets, I was doing a nice little arms up, step back lunge. I actually really love to do these walking all the way along the gym, but for the sake of the video, I just did the step back version. So we're moving up now in weight and I'm doing a double legged deadlift now with the Smith. So I ditched the single legs. Those were just for a couple little warm up moves and the lighter weight. So single leg deadlifts and then right into heavy and double leg. Here we go with this other angle. Like I said, I don't think I actually got the single leg ones on here, but we're going double leg, nice and heavy, let's go. So I did go ahead. I couldn't remember if I did these heavy ones or not. As you can see, I only did two reps on the single leg. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your one leg toe down back and then the other legs planted. Here you can see a really good angle. Your calf is going to be stabilizing hard and you're going to really feel it come into the back of those hamstrings. So I love me a good single legged deadlift and it does make it a lot easier to do these with the uh, Smith machine. Now, in between some of my Smith machine sets, I was also doing a nice light leg press. So what I did here was um, just the same thing, getting kind of warmed up and into my body, pumping double legs. But the real kicker move here and the one that I absolutely love for getting into those glutes is an angled single leg press, okay? So you're gonna poke your booty all the way out the back of the machine angle your foot all the way and you want to make sure that your knee and your toe are in alignment so that means your knee is pressing over top of that toe you once again may have to shuffle your foot around depending on how long your leg is okay so everyone's different because of our anatomy so make sure that you're getting into your body and you're feeling what's right for you here i'm going right into the other side same thing you see me shimmy around with that foot shimmy around with that hip and then I'm really making sure I'm getting into that glute. Sometimes I even like to put my little finger onto my butt cheek and feel it. Ooh, these ones are so good, you guys. And then pump those calves. Why can't you just let me eat my weight I live inside my own world of make-believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. 
Next move, we're going into a nice little hamstring curl. Same thing, we're focusing a lot on single legs today. So on this guy, you're just gonna come all the way up, nice and long, really feeling that hamstring pump. And then I like to do some fun stuff as I push up a little bit. I'll do some fun pulsing at the top, um, as well as some fun pulsing for a couple reps and then going long. So I like to just build the tension and play around with the machines, play around with the muscles. It's a great way to get into your body once again, like I always say. And honestly, when you feel the muscles tearing and you push for that burn, you know you're gonna get a good pump and you know that you're really working those muscles properly. So push hard and let's go. Tension devils hide behind redemption Honesty is a one-way gate to hell I want to taste consumption You faster to waste toxicity Hear the children sing aloud It's music till the wick burns out On this part of the video, you really can see how I'm doing the pump. So I'm going all the way up a little tiny bit down and then going long all the way back up. And you see that rump getting pumped up. Yo, let's go. Lately, uh, just taking up daisies. Got one too many quarters in my pocket. Count on like the poly clovers in my locket. Untied laces, yeah. Just tripping on day. All right, so this next move that we're going into is one of my all-time new favorites for the glutes. It's got you like sitting cradled into this seat and you actually really have to kind of anchor your hips down um, and then spread the knees out wide. I'm just doing a little twerk action in between sets as I do um, and then when you, when you kind of sit down and get into this position, there's two different options for your feet. I actually like to do a couple rounds of both. I'll just put my feet close, see if I can really get it, do it for a couple rounds, and then I put my feet on the longer ones. I am also quite tall. I'm about 5'8", so um, yeah, my feet can reach that far. Once again, with these ones, sometimes I like to do a little pulse action. Sometimes I just like to hammer it all the way down. For my first round, I'm going really nice and light and just focusing on getting it all the way down, full squeeze into my glutes. Oh yeah, these ones are fun. Then we're gonna go ahead and up that weight, baby girl, and push it. As you can see by my face, those ones really hurt, and my pump is looking juicy. Now for the last move, you're gonna go into a nice little kickback combo. I did a really bent over wide open swing kickback, so where I'm really bending through my knee and then opening up through my hips, driving up into my heel and really flexing my butt cheek. And then I went into a straight leg, straight back swing. Okay, so that was the gnarly leg day. Uh, if you wanna add in a couple more rounds of kickbacks, please do. I did only two rounds. I was crushed at this point and I was ready for breakfast. I hope you guys have such a good workout and a, such a good day. Don't forget to slam your protein post gnarly leg day and give that booty a nice spank for me. Meow.